guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we're going, we're driving, we're gonna see my friend's cars and they're working on a 190E today. It's a really nice old school 190E that they picked up for like, I think 300 bucks. So we're gonna go over there. They're actually trying to start the engine and uh, apparently when they bought the car, they said, the owner said uh, that uh, the engine, like there's a camshaft problem or the, the camshaft needs to be replaced or something. I'm not too sure about anything. Of, my friend just told me that they were trying to start it. It cranks, it just doesn't start. You know, they check fuel pressure apparently and spark is good. So I don't know, we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what's up. And if anything, they also have another additional engine. Uh, if that doesn't work, so we're gonna, they're gonna replace the engine. So it should be fun, should be a lot of cool videos. and. Just, there's going to be another 190E with a 2.6 liter in that inline six engine. It's a really beautiful, pristine car. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you that as well. And today we're just driving, you know, rainy Washington. And yeah, we're driving this amazing old school W163 ML class Benz. Um, yeah, so just enjoy the views while we, before we get there. And this is M103 engine as well. That's pretty yeah. awesome. Wow. Yeah, there's one uh, 190E that I really want to pick up. It's in uh, Oak Harbor, actually. There is? Yeah. Where is it at? Where is it at? What about? Uh, so there's a car that they have, and it's also 190E, but it has no headlights and no bumper. And there's, But the car is actually in a pretty good shape. It just needs to be cleaned up. Right. um yeah and um uh, i'm gonna probably go look at it uh, rain i told rain about it already i mean we've talked about it but um and this car is actually pretty pristine the euro headlights too yeah oh this is the whole mercedes fleet i love it <laughs> this is really cool all right so let's yeah let's push it in and then we're yeah. gonna figure it out with uh with a no start uh, clear the the fence here yeah, I mean, let's see. You should be able to. I mean, you just have to steer it to the left, and that's it. This thing is cool. I like the blue color. Yeah, we're doing a halfway in. Should be fine. Or if you want the whole car, we can do the whole car. It gets trapped by the post, so. I don't know, I love 190Es, man. <laughs> so nice. It's old school classic. That's good. That's, That's good. Yeah, yeah. See, it takes one extra guy, I tell you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Guys, look at this thing. This thing is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it today. This car has been sitting for like nine years hasn't been running so we're gonna go ahead and try to start it it cranks but just doesn't start so uh we checked fuel pressure is there and uh, we're just changing some spark plug wires right now determine a couple of them are bad <laughs> Give us some tour of my friend's garage. He has a lot of parts here. It's pretty cool. It's like my, it's like my dream garage here. Nice shelves, tires, wheels, everything. Bumpers right there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And this is an extra M102 engine with transmission that they picked up recently. Uh, they might be installing it into that blue car um, if we can't get that engine started. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna start that engine. I mean, it cranks and it sounds like it's got compression. So.
Oh, let's see if this baby Here. starts up. Here. Here. Let the guests get in first, I guess. Clear. What? Dead battery? Well, there's no spark on the second. We'll try. We'll try there is again. one here. Yeah. Let me check. Does that sound like it's because got compression? It sounds like it's got. I mean, I smell the fuel. It smells it's definitely. Fuel. Yeah. Uh, when you pull the spark plugs out, out were they like? Um, <laughs> do they have like fuel on them or no? Or just they were like, uh, more it, soaked in fuel? They, or no? they were driven or they were... it, so I don't know. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Can somebody pull it? Tug of war. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at this beauty. It's insane. They lowered this car, put some AMG wheels. What a beauty. Beautiful car, man. 190E. 2.6 M113. And they really love, and actually, I do love German plates as well. And they put those on. It's very nice. Amazing car guys, just amazing, really clean, beautiful steering wheel right there, and just a beauty. And that's a literally Mercedes fleet, we got W163, W163, and we have 190Es, and this blue one they picked up recently for like 200 bucks or something like that, and it just doesn't start, hasn't ran since 2011, so we're trying to uh fix it now uh and then that one they also picked up for like 800 bucks we're saving all the old school benzes and i'm actually going to be getting one soon as well probably i think uh, there's a 190e they want to get uh that's you know uh, not in the best shape but i want to save it it's actually really cool i already looked at it, it has a good body and good floors and stuff so <sighs> i'm really getting into those 90s late 80s early 90s cars Okay, so we have the fuel pressure coming to the fuel distributor, but we don't have. Looks like we're cracking these open, and there's like dry. It's, there's like, like no fuel or something on those four injector lines coming out from the fuel distributor. So oh, that's really interesting. Right? Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. I did what crack I would it. Do, I did crack it here. Already, yeah. So what so. we're gonna do? So here's what you're gonna do. Just leave those cracked open, okay? Yeah. So then you're gonna go turn the ignition on, and, and see if it's you might have to crank and see if it sprays out of there, Correct. okay? Doesn't have to be a no. It doesn't open. have to. Yeah. You just might have to like cover it a little bit, you know, you uh, 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 just so it doesn't spray out. Good. Great. All right. Okay. I would uh, I would cover that up with uh, with a rag. Okay. The whole thing. All right, that should be good. Go for it. Clear. Hold on. I don't know where to put the key. The key. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, old man. Start with screwdriver. <laughs> Clear. Can you look? Yeah, we're good. Good. Crank it. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks okay try try to loosen a little i mean it should still spray in my opinion but okay. right. now, uh, or you might need way out or you can just, just remove back. yeah yeah just yeah. like that kind of mm. Try Nothing again. Uh, just uh, yeah, just cover it up. Let's try again. Maybe tr crank a little longer. Cover it up. Yep. All right. Ready? Ready. Go. All right. 
That's good. Yeah, we have no fuel coming out of here. And that's already uh, almost. So we have a sus suspicious, like, no fuel pressure. So we're gonna, we took that feed line off now. We're gonna try to go ahead and check the fuel pressure coming out from that uh, line. We don't have the fuel pressure gauge right now, but we're gonna do it the old school way. Uh, he's gonna crank it, and we're gonna we're gonna feel and see how how it sprays. Just yeah, go ahead, put it all the way in, just in case. Yeah. If anything, we're gonna we're gonna hear it. From there that we can see squirting or anything. Okay, squirt. Ready? Ready. Yeah. See. Good. So we have a, we have fuel pressure. Good, uh, okay, that's good. Yeah, good that's good. So sign, that yeah. rules that out. Okay. At least that is. So we have we have Holy fuel God, pressure. Yes. No, yeah. the filter here. Yeah, there's a filter. That's Try to take I'm it off. About. See, see, maybe it's plugged. I think there's another filter somewhere. It could be this one. Uh, we clean that up. Uh, I know, but uh, I'm not happy with it. With the amount of uh, there could be another filter right there here. too. I would also clean that just in case. Uh, you tried to check that earlier. Yeah. See if you notice any difference. So these are the. This is the filter for the fuel distributor, and this is a lot cleaner right now in there. You can see light now. Yeah. Earlier, I couldn't see anything. It's just a uh, yeah. like shady. Yeah, you can see it. So this is a, a really new and clean filter right there. This is the one that came from the car. So try the one that's right there, the new, with a clean filter. This is from this car or from this? This is from that distributor. This is the original from this car. Stop, this one's squirting. Well, no, it's just a no. cobweb. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I gotta move my car, guys. Ah, old Mercedes forever. <laughs> that super is not gonna live that long. It's not gonna live to like. I don't think it's gonna live to like 40 years old, like these cars. Anybody can buy a new car. Only men keep these running. That's what they say. <laughs> I saw who I don't know who posted that down here. There, yeah, it's actually pretty old. Like, I because that picture I last the first time I saw it, like probably five years ago, oh, and that was like my favorite picture. You know, like <laughs> they have new Mercedes, like, and it says anybody can buy these, and then there's old yeah. ones on the bottom. Only men keep them running. Yeah, exactly. it's pretty cool. See this rag again? Huh? Right. Somebody's <laughs> gonna go inside, but I think we need to uh, plug the battery charger or something. Oh, sorry, because no worries. No worries. I just want to see if it runs, okay? Because that will tell us a lot if it runs or not. Are you gonna squirt that into uh, the yeah, the injectors? Um, no, we did it there a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Still dog. did not get inside because the okay. injectors. Right, here it is. Are, 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 you can see it's uh, like No, it, it, the injectors are different. Uh, this is the, this is a different circuit, okay? This Injectors, one goes into this the go, This goes to the intake manifold. It goes to the chamber where mm -hmm. the valves are. Mm -hmm. So straight. So yeah, it does. This when you spray, <coughs> spray it here, it doesn't go to the injectors. It goes oh, okay, past, okay. past the injectors, gotcha, passed gotcha. by injectors. So yeah, I'm just gonna connect that uh, jumper now. This pretty cool. It's a nice jumper. Really nice one. Yeah. So now we can. Eleven point nine. It's a little low. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, right? There you go. Rain's got everything. He has oh all goodness. the tools. That's why we come here. All right, so I'll tell you when, all right? Tell don't don't touch, don't touch the gas pedal, all right? Sure. All right, go ahead, try it. All right, stop. Nothing still, huh? Not even trying. All right, so we can reconnect these injectors, I believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, it's squirting, but it's like, I still feel it's not enough. We need to check I'm thinking the pressure. we should disassemble or take this out and see. Yeah. I mean, it's, in my opinion, it should be like, the, the fuel pressure should be a lot higher than yeah. that. I mean, it's, yeah. it's 
it's going, but it's like just like like some drops and yeah, stuff. It's not know? enough to uh, like yeah. It should so be that's a strong why spray. And right this feed can. line, the fuel comes in, but I feel like it's still not enough because right. I really can't tell how much psi is in there. You know, right? In that line. Right. Because technically, like on some of the other cars, like when you crack that line, it's gonna spray like crazy. You know what I'm saying? And this one doesn't do it, and it's supposed Here, to me, do it. Let me. Uh, so I think we could have a problem with the fuel pump or clogged fuel filter in this case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's because it. yeah, that's see that's it. It's it enough. should squirt out when you yep. loosen that line right there. Yep. And it's not doing it. So fuel pump definitely either filter. fuel pump or something is up with the yeah. Where's the fuel also, pump? Which jumps fuel pump? Huh? Which jumps fuel pump? But we another don't have this fuel pump. We 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 replaced no the accumulator. accumulator. You replaced the accumulator? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have an accumulator. So but the pump is original on the car? Yeah. Or so. Okay. Yeah, I just got So the only thing that I'm really like it's really strange is when uh, it should still start with uh with the, the starting fluid, yeah. you know? Yeah. So mm -hmm. that tells me that could, we could also have uh, an issue with like compression. Compression. So that's why I would right now go ahead and remove those spark plugs. Yep. Okay, I want to see how they look if there's if there's wood on them and then I would also uh you know do the compression test. Okay. So awesome. Okay, let's see. Go for it. Oh boy. Stop. Very low. Wow. Let's change the battery first. Yeah, just let's get a different battery. Ooh, that wasn't good. Very low. Yeah, I saw that too. What did you read? It Nothing. was barely like one psi. Yeah. Yeah, that's no good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're putting new battery in it because the other one was like dead. And then we're going to retest the compression again. Yep, we're still plugged in. We got the new battery connected, so go for it. I'll tell you when to stop. did not build anything yeah, yeah. Look at that. nothing at all all right just hang in there i'm gonna change the cylinder now Hi. something's not right maybe the camshaft is actually cracked but how though i mean it's i don't know let's we'll see in a second it's probably you This no, no, good? No, no. We need to uh, make this uh, fit better. So looks like we're going to replace that engine. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can again. you pull it out in and out? No, no, no. This one. No, this is good. This is like it's a fixed. coupling. Yeah, it's, oh, okay. fine. it's fine. Yeah. All right, go start. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if you wanna like try to. All right, stop. stop. There's nothing. Cannot see. Nothing. Maybe the gauge is just not good. Maybe you can try. When I first measured this, it had something. It had in there. something. It had yeah. some like it moved up a little. Oh, uh, let's 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 crank the engine really quick. Start. Go for it again. All right, stop. It could be so. I mean, it's moving, yeah, but we're not sure if the other side is moving. So we just checked to make sure that the tester is working properly, and it was working. We removed one spark plug on that engine and cranked it, and came up all the way to 120 psi. So yeah, we gotta, we're gonna put some oil on those cylinders, let it soak, and then we need to pull this valve cover to see uh, if that camshaft is broken or not. You're ready to go um, to the but yeah, some bad news actually, as of right now. Um, but still, we're gonna be, they have another engine just to, if anything, and we can always, you know, 
take this engine apart and see what actually is wrong with it and fix it. Oh shit, almost. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to the three other cylinders. Yeah, and you can start removing the valve cover. Alright. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, nice. A little bit of salt. A little bit of. Yeah. Tequila. I know, right? Oops. That's good. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this camshaft is doing. All the bolts are out. Okay. Cool. There we go. M102 engine. Let's look inside of this bad boy. I'm really curious. Ooh. That's what happens for nine years. Huh? Mm. I like how everybody just came here, you right? Know? Oh, I want to see that. I want to mm. see that. <laughs> you came bronze. Yeah, I mean this this bronze is usually it's, it's not really it could be oil. from sitting, but it's uh, just lack of oil changes usually. It's what causes that. It's just a small sludge. You see, it cleans up. All right. I want to look at this camshaft. So what we need to find, we need to turn this. We need to turn this by hand. Can we do it from the... Uh, uh, we can, but I don't think it's going to turn. Usually it doesn't work with this. Yeah. Usually you have to go to the crankshaft. Because when you try to turn it with this, it usually just gets stuck. It doesn't go anywhere, it just like, right. goes back and forth a little. What's, what number is... Uh, it's a big one. We don't uh, have it's it. 27, I think. <coughs> the lobes look great on it. I just want to see. I just want to turn it so... You, you know, we could we could it? just uh, you know what? It, yeah. yeah, we could crank it. The only thing is, I'm concerned is uh, I would put something underneath because oil might be like start dripping or something. Because you see that? Yeah. Yep. Start. Oh shit! It's not. Go ahead again. It's not even turning. Yep. Camshaft is broken. <laughs> so these things this is not moving the the lifters so only part is moving is this all right yeah. so the this is broken at the bottom is probably uh, no, not the not. connecting it's rods this, 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 this camshaft yeah. this camshaft is not this it's this broken. is not turning right there it's I like see. split right there hmm yeah. So. So it's not the crankshaft. It's the cage. It's the camshaft. And right now, right now, I need to find out if this is because I'm sure this is interference engine. So if this camshaft got stuck in this position, the uh, the pistons probably hit the valves. Mm -hmm. So those valves are probably all bent right now. Yeah. Mm. That's why you have zero compression on this on this thing right now. Yeah. Yep. Those valves were just like they just got bent. We because some of these valves are are in they're in the so, uh, <laughs> because some of some of these valves are actually in like they're like inside the cylinder so like if this camshaft lobe is pointing down so it's pressing mm. on that valve so it stayed in the combustion chamber that piston came up and hit that valve Ooh. and bent it so oh, yeah because it just got stuck in this position and i really wonder how this camshaft broke i mean i really wonder i really, I wonder. really do too I mean the oil itself is um it's clean yeah i mean it's it's clean so what could have happened is maybe someone whoever drove this car nine years ago this happened they parked it for that long that's why it was sitting hmm. yeah so at this point change at this point either change the engine or we can take the uh, or we can swap the the cylinder the head shaft. the whole cylinder the head cylinder uh-huh i'm more than sure those valves are bent yeah, we tried to change the engine because uh, that's what it's we all used. You, why it's they went to go uh, this is six. Yeah. You can save it. It's a six. Yeah. It doesn't start getting up here. 
Okay, well, I found out that the camshaft is broken, so they already have another engine, so they'll be putting that engine in. And this one will probably, at some point, we will uh, take it apart. And, you know, I'm sure that the valves are bent in there because the camshaft got stuck in one spot and the pistons just hit the valves, I'm pretty sure. So, they're getting ready to replace. Yeah, this is still intact. They're getting ready to replace this engine. Here's the engine. They're going to be putting this one in. <laughs> This is Do in it. great shape. Oh, oh man, you were ready. Really wonder how it broke. I mean, the timing chain is still intact. Everything. Yeah. It's going to Vito, oh, right? So yeah. Vito's taking the engine when we're done. Yeah. Yeah, I'll You're take it apart. Engine, right, I'll, take, I'll take it apart, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I know how that Red and blue look really good together, actually. Yeah. And this green adds a lot, too. <laughs> so, <sexy. laughs> so nice. I love the German plate. All right, guys. So this car is going to be here for now until they get to changing the engine on this thing. Um, and meanwhile, we have a King Benz here. I would say this is a King. This is a beautiful king, guys. This is the one that you actually haven't seen. This is a beauty. Would you look at that interior, and would you look at that amazing steering wheel and the gauges? This thing, this thing is amazing. This thing is amazing. What a beauty. And this got M103 in it. 2.6 beautiful Euro headlights. And these are actually Bosch headlights. 